Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my December Owl Crate. Um, and I want to just say that I still haven't received my Fairy Loot or Lemon Crate November box. So I'm just happy that Owl Crate managed to get my November box out and December out. And it was early too. So really happy with that. So let's go ahead and open this box up. So this is how it looks like. Um, so that was just a spoiler card. Let me grab that real quick. So this month's theme is Starcross and yeah. So it just has all the spoilers on the back of that. So the first thing that I want to take out is our Legacy luggage pin. This is the last one that we're going to be receiving. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. I do like receiving these, but I want to see something different from our crate. So yeah, so this is to be inspired by Outlander, which honestly, I do not care for Outlander items. I do not plan on watching this year, the show or movies or whatever it is, or reading the books ever in my life. So don't really care, but it is a nice design actually, even like, it's still a pretty nice design pin so that's still pretty cool uh the next thing that i'm going to take out is this box right here um which is a salt and pepper um which is inspired by serpent and dove so that's pretty cool i'm going to go ahead and take them out of these so yeah they're inspired by serpent and dove which is pretty nice um these are pretty cute actually I do like them. Um, I just wish they didn't have like these signs on here, uh, just because I feel like it would look a lot nicer if it was just the design itself. Because I the design is actually pretty nice, but I don't really care about the words on it. Well, I guess so you know which one is which, but whatever. These are pretty cool, but I don't I don't see myself using these to be honest, just because I don't really need these, but. That's still a pretty cool item to get. Okay, so the next item we have is another box. Um, so this is um, inspired by these Violent Light. And it is a Thermetic, or yeah, tea bag rest. And, okay, let me just take it out. So, this is pretty cool. So you put your loose leaf tea inside this thing, you know? Uh, which is pretty cool. I like the design on here. I like the little moon and the stars. But it comes with this rest. Um, which says. Um, Asteroid inclinant. You know I can't read. But <laughs> it looks pretty nice. And pretty cute. Um, and then you just like. Rest your tea bag on it. Once you're done with that. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't really drink. Um, tea at all but I do want to try to get into tea um, so this would be cool to use on the sleep tea and stuff like that so I do like this and I like the design of this little moon and stuff the next thing we have is this little bag and it sounds like metal straws but it says you are the bane of my existence and not in the object of all my desires so I like the design that they did for this um, the thing is yeah, so it is metal straws, and we already okay. So we already got in a whole bunch of metal straws from other um, subscription boxes. Like I have a whole bunch now from Fairy Loot and Aluminum Crate, but here are the metal straws. They're just gold, but I will say what is different about these compared to the other ones that I received. They're in shapes of hearts. So that's pretty cute. I do like that. Um, I just wish there were like different colors at least. Um, instead of just all of them being gold. But I mean, I guess it makes sense to get a whole set of them being the same color. But they're so cute. So I do like these. Um, they're very cute. So um, hopefully I don't get more metal straws though. Because I just have way too many now. But this is nice. Um, and let's see what this is inspired by. Um, so these are inspired by Bridgerton. Um, I have not read that series or watched the TV show, but um, Aluminum Crate is going to re reprint their special edition that they did for the series and then I'll probably buy them and then 
finally read it. Um, but that's pretty nice. The next thing we have is inside this little bag here. So I like these little pouches that I'll create this. Uh, they sometimes put things inside these little cute bags. Um, but this seems to be like something you hang on your wall and just put stuff in these little pockets. I like the design a lot. The design is actually pretty cute. And I probably will put this somewhere in my room, but I don't know what I'm gonna put inside these little pockets, but they're very nice. And it says the dream chooses the dreamer. So that's very really cute. Um, so let me see what this is inspired by real quickly. So it's inspired by the Stranger Dreamer, a series that I have not read. Don't know if I will read it, but either way, that's pretty cool. Then we have like a little bookmark here, which is seem to be an ad for a book that comes out next year. Um, the bookmark is really cute, so if you like it. But I don't think it's like an official item. Then we have like a little brown envelope here with more bookmarks. So, but these are actually counted as items from the spoiler card. And I love these um, bookmarks. They're very, very cute. So on one of them it says, your soul sings to mine, my soul is yours, and it will always be in any world. And then the other one says, for tonight, maybe we can just be Lainey and Elias. Uh, by Lainey Taylor, and then the one I just read is um, Sava Tarar. Um, sorry if I mispronounced their names, but these are very cute bookmarks. I love the, the character art, and then behind we have quotes on them, um, which are very nice. These are really beautiful bookmarks. I really like these. These are very nice and beautiful. So I'm happy with <laughs> um, getting these bookmarks. They're very nice. And then lastly, we have the actual book here. But before that, we've got um, our newsletter inside here, and we also have next month's theme, which seems to be um, Cortain Cur the Fae. I don't know, I, the font is a little weird, but it, this is a very cute theme card. So I'm very excited to see what January focus and the items inside there. And it seems we'll get a, an official licensed Sarah J Mass item designed by Wolf and Bear Co. Um, so that's very cool. So I'm really excited to see what that item is and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this book up. And just by this cover, it's stunning. So as always, we get um, the author's letter on here behind the little cover art, which is beautiful. Um, so there's that. And then we have the actual book. And the book is um, The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. Um, this is a beautiful redesign cover. I love this cover. I really do. It's so stunning. Um, everything about it. They did such a great job with this redesign. I was scared at first because I loved the original cover. But this is, this is stunning. I am really happy with this. And then on the back it says the forest was speaking and a wolf was at the doorstep. That's very, really, very really nice. Oh, I really am in love with this book cover. So let's see um, how it looks naked. Oh, so they have printed the original hardcover, the original cover on the hardcover. And look how beautiful that is. That is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And then on the back it says, every sacrifice deserves a song. So that's really cute, and I'm really happy this, they decided to put the original cover on the naked heart bag just because the original cover is so stunning, as you guys can see there. It's beautiful, so I really love that, that they did that. So let's look at the end pages. So here are the end pages. It's just this little pattern, but it's very, very cute, and it's the same on the front and on the back. Um, I like it. It's really, really nice and cute. And of course, it is signed by the author, which I love to see. I love receiving signed copies. So this is really nice. Um, and yeah, so that's everything that we received in this. Oh, actually, I keep forgetting, but they do have reversible artwork on the dust jacket. So I'm gonna show you guys that right here. Very, very nice. Very, very pretty. I really like it. So that's very, very cute. Hopefully you guys can see that, but yeah. Um, 
honestly, this box um, was pretty good. I like a lot of these things. Um, well, yeah, I like the items. Um, I just think we have way too much metal straws, but besides that, everything was really nice. And I just love what they did with the actual book. Um, I just wish I would create, obviously, did um, stencil edges or sprayed edges at least. That would be really nice, but I know they've been struggling to get a manufacturer to do that for them. But, I mean, just with what they did with this cover alone was just beautiful. I love this cover redesign. It is so pretty. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I received in December's Owl Crate. Um, I think I'm going to keep my subscription for next year as well. So let me know what you guys think of the items and what they did to this beautiful book. So pretty. Uh, so yeah, let me know down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.